Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. We're looking at your week of January 17, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. You do realize we are under Mercury Retro until February 3rd. That time frame of BM expected. <clears throat> Taurus, if you guys are seeking a psychic reading, you will find it at JackieTomlin.com. Let's jump right in and get started here. We have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups tells me you are in your head and you are overthinking things. Now, Taurus, when you spend your time overthinking things, you pull your energy from here to here very quickly. Uh, so be warned of that as you progress through the week. Two of Swords. Two of Swords says you guys have got decisions to make. Now, some of you may feel that you're backed in a corner. And I say this because... You put these decisions off for too long and you may be put in a position that you have to make a decision very, very quickly. With that, I've got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles comes in as financial stability for you guys. Also, an Aquarius may or may not resonate from a Taurus. With that, I have the Hangman. Now, the Hangman tells me you are feeling stuck. You're feeling like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's just no movement. I don't see it as that way. You may be a little stuck, a little stuck, okay? Maybe just a little stillness, but it's kind of like the calm before the storm. It's not a bad thing, but it's asking you to be still because sometimes the clarity you seek and the answers you need kind of come to you when you're still. Center of the reading, we have the Ten of Swords. You're in a healing mode. Uh, for some of you, it's physical healing, but for a lot of you, I think it's emotional. It's getting over the fact that someone has done you wrong or someone has let you down. Celebrated by the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Nine of Pentacles coming in, and the Nine of Pentacles here does say financial independence, and that's really cool because it comes right under that Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? This is something that's coming in, um... For some of you, it's a new job. For some of you, you're opening a business. There's a grand opening or something there to be celebrated. Uh, this could be inheritance. It could be, for some of you, it could be some small winnings. But there is definitely something prominent here in the finances. And look at here, you have the ton of cups. So, for my Taurus that are couples that are in an actual relationship, this is excelling, moving your relationship forward. Happy family, happy couple, okay? Now, for my singles out there, this tells me you are headed to a committed relationship. That the next one coming in is going to be the relationship material. Eight of Swords. Card of Self-Imposed Restrictions tells you no one is holding you back at this time, but you. This goes right back to that Five of Cups of overthinking things. And we have the Six of Cups. Reuniting with someone from your past, reconnecting with someone from your past, this does not, not have to be in your love life, okay? This is someone you are actually really excited to reconnect with. It doesn't have to be the, the far distance past either. Just perhaps someone you haven't seen or spoken to in quite some time. So let's jump in and clarify what do I have going on here from a Taurus. Okay, and on that Five of Cups comes the Two of Water. Same row with that Ten of Cups and the Happily Ever After is the couple. Someone reuniting. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer does not have to be. Okay, and on that Two of Swords and making those decisions, we have the Eight of Earth. Okay, and the Eight of Earth says... This is um, you working on something. I'm going back to this business with the Pentacles. Um, this is Pentacles. This is money in addition to. I really want to say this is some kind of side hustle or new business we have going on here. On the Queen of Pentacles, I have ooh, the Page of Fire. Sagittarius energy. This is a message coming in. It is about divine timing. The message is, wow, the nine of fire. It is letting you know, you know, with this retro energy, you may feel, yeah, like you're the hangman that you may feel stuck. 
You may feel emotional. You may feel anxious and you may feel excited. What it is is delivering a message that I don't want to say it's going to be an emotional week, but it's going to, it's telling you straight up to us that you're going to um, have a lot of scattered energy around you this week. Yep, there it is. On the Ten of Swords, there's a Tower card moment. Center of your reading. This is your temper. This is where someone has said or done something to you. This is you mad and betting about it. Now, I've never seen a Tower card moment lead to something worse. It always brings about sudden change and it brings in something better. So it's going to be very brief in passing. On that Nine of Pentacles, I have the Page of Water. This is an unexpected offer, and for some of you, it is an unexpected offer of love, while others of you, it's just an unexpected offer in general. On the Ten of Cups, we have oh, the Four of Air. Okay, this is the calm before the storm. So this is asking you to get the rest that you need this week of the 17th while you can. And on the Eight of Swords... We have the nine of air. So your new beginning is actually coming in communication. And it's going to be how you communicate and or express with other people, as well as how they communicate and express with you. Okay. And on your six of cups, we have, look at there. You guys got the magician. Highest card in the tarot deck. This is your guess answer. This Taurus says, no matter what, you get everything you want and desire. Tower card moment and all, you still get everything you want. And your center of the reading bonus is, there it is, the Emperor. Beautiful. The Emperor following the Magician. This is someone coming in to help you. This is a dominant take control type person. Bottom line, Taurus, this is someone coming in to save the day. But overall, you get everything you want. What a beautiful week ahead. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com for psychic greetings. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.